Hi, it's Meg here, and this is my journal of uh, walk into nature. And I had lots of fun collecting pieces. The only, there are no flowers, no laces. The only ribbon, if you call this a ribbon, is holding it closed. And this is the uh, front of the journal. I collected all kinds of pieces from nature. Um, gum leaves, nuts, piece of bark, and uh, some more bark. This is the back of it with one of the pages from um, the collection. This is the side, I guess you'd call it a side. And this is how it opens up. This is the inside of the this piece. And I've got some twigs and a seed pod. And this is the other side, a piece of bark. Uh, the trees are all losing their bark this year. And um, a seed pod. And we've got a little book here. I've used tea dye vellum quite a bit in this journal and uh, all of the ephemera from the collection, almost all of it. And I've used three colours of uh, cardstock. Um, the one colour didn't seem to work with the, the nature, so I used um, a green, it's almost a sage green, uh, a cream, and then um, the mocha, from the majority of it. This is the green piece, butterfly and ephemera. And we've got some bark and some twigs, and these are the papers. These papers were so delicate, these two, that I decided just to put them on plain vellum and I think it worked quite nicely. And we've got another little book here. This is done on the plain vellum and it's just to cover up the back. This one doesn't have anything on it. And this is the back of the green section and I collected um, leaves and dried them and a piece of bark, another leaf and some twine just to tie it around the little book and then this is the next section and this is the bird section this is for bird notes more notes and we've got a little book bird feather of course this is tea dyed vellum and these are uh, two of the pages that I've just um, fussy cut out That's the bird section, another feather and just a piece of bark and some twigs. Now this is the section where I used uh, the cream cardstock because it seemed to work much better with the uh, colour of the papers than the, the darker or the green. Um, this is a piece of tea dyed vellum one of the, these are the um, ephemera and then just a, a tiny little bead to um, add an accent. And this is the cream section. I've got um, a 
piece of vellum done into a little book with some um, paper, another little bead with corrugated, some tags, and then another ephemera. And this is um, a piece of twig and another piece there. And this is the back of the cream section. And here we come back into the um, mocha. And a piece of bark and some twigs hanging out of the side. And we've got some skeleton leaves some um, dried fern <laughs> and it's going to break off. It's the only trouble with using it. An ephemera, another leaf, and a transparency butterfly to just as a colour um, addition to that page. Another butterfly here. This is the butterfly section. And we have another little book with some bark. And that's the end of the mocha section. And this is the back page, I guess you could call it. I'm not quite sure what to call what page here, but there's a, a big leaf and uh, some ephemera that I haven't glued in yet. Sorry about that. Um, some twigs and a seed pot. Now, this will show you, uh, looking down at it, how it's been put together. This is one piece of chipboard here and it is four and a half inches. It's covered on the inside and on the outside with the mocha cardstock. This is another piece of chipboard and it's folded at the side and here this one is six, this is four, and this is two. Has to be because that's 12 inches. And then this is another piece. This one is five and a half, which fits the size of the papers, which are five inches wide. And then this is three inches. Now you could make this one longer, you could make this one wider, and you could make this one longer so that they fold and this one comes all the way across. But the what you can see here is how the sections or the signatures are attached. This is the first one. Is it the first one? Yes, this is the first one. This is the green one. And you've got two papers, two, si two sizes attached, one attached to the other. And then this one is attached to the spine. This is the middle one, which is the mocha. And everything is glued to the spine. This is the cream section, also glued to the spine and then this is the uh, last one which is the mocha and that's also glued to the spine so that shows you how it's put together it's very sturdy what I would like to know is if you have any ideas on how I could close it I used the mesh ribbon and attach it to the handle here. But there has to be a better way instead of using the mesh ribbon. Mesh ribbon was also used on the uh, spines here to um, cover up the gluing. Hope you enjoyed my um, small book 
I had fun with it. Uh, it took me a while to get it together because I was planning on using just the one colour cardstock and then I decided it had to be the three different colours. Um, you could make three separate books. You can do a lot of things with these papers. Um, lots of ideas. Hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure you subscribe. And this is Meg signing out. Uh, you can find the papers on my Etsy shop. The details will be below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.